What was the first formation of Iblis? The first no, second word. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. The first permission of the Iblis from Allah was to give me a freedom. Give me a free will. I will do whatever I want. So this was the free this was the first permission that he asked Allah. Oh Allah, leave me alone with whatever I want to do, so leave me alone. So this is the first permission. And the second thing that I believe uh, told Allah and the second thing was uh, he said to Allah that the second thing was I'm going to remove people from worshipping you by putting the faith and the beliefs of other objects or it could be idol or it could be a grave or it could be uh, like an idol it could be a grave worshippers or the idol worshippers or whatever objects uh, people are worshipping like a stars, moon, uh, sun, animals or the plants or trees or whatever or it could be anything that uh, I believe said I will put their faith through the net. Now how, how does the shaitan misguide to worship something else? He would come uh, first way to misguide the human being is through the whisper. By the whisper, he will put a fear in a person's brain that if you will not do this, maybe something bad will happen. For example, those people who believe on something like uh, like bad omen things and things like this, these are all shit. This all shit means everything is happened by only will of Allah. Everything is happened only by the command of Allah. And it is alone him who, who wants to benefit you or who wants to punish you. For example, in the in the Holy Quran, in the Surah Yunus, verse number 110, where Allah says, It is only Allah who will decide what is good for you. If, if Allah wants to benefit you, nobody can harm you. But if Allah wants to punish you, then even the entire universe and everything, everyone uh, get together to save you from the punishment of Allah. Nobody can do that because he is alone judge. He is the alone commander. He is the alone doer of everything. And now this is what this uh, Iblis and his children and his followers do. They whisper in the heart by putting the belief on something else. For example, if the Muslim uh, who believes on Allah, Allah is the one, then he start going to a uh, grave worshipping and then he start believing on some alligators, donkeys, cats and the horses and, uh, and those shaitans are in the faith of peers, Maulanas, all oh, those people are the followers and the children of Iblis who are trying to misguide the people to worship something else. So this was the second thing that the uh, Iblis asked Allah, this is what I'm going to do. Because if you read in uh, Surah Al-Araf in uh, verse number 16 to 18, where 18, where Iblis said, فَبِمَا وَيْتَنِي لَعَقَدُ النَّلَمْ سَرَاتَكَ الْمُسْتَقِمْ ثُمَّا لَعَتْيَنَمْ مِنْ بَيْنِ عَيْدِهِمْ وَأَنْ and Shaitan said, I will target the human being from the right, left, uh, from the front, from the back, from everywhere, and in no way I will be able to come, uh, let him come to you, but rather I will misguide him. So in the in the matter of misguidance, so this was the first misguidance of a Shaitan that he will make. Uh, a person to worship something else, to have believe on something else. For an example, for the Christians, a shaitan has whispered in their heart or through the human beings by telling them, believing on the Jesus, that he will die uh, for your sins, you will get the salvation on the judgment. But on, uh, but in the Holy Quran, it says, "Wala tajir, wala tajir, ukhra." You are the alone. If you do, if you sin it. You pay for it, not somebody else. So they have a logic that they're following by believing that the Jesus peace be upon him who died for your sins. So you're going to sell, you're going to get a salvation on the day of judgment. So this was the second thing I believe said. The first thing he said, give me freedom. Do not uh, interrupt me whatever I do. And Allah said, it will be my ibadi who will be uh, strong to who fight you and they will be able to stop themselves. And each time they'll come to me, ask me forgiveness. <laughs>